These are the items you need except for fishing rod and reel. Let's see the order of setting. This setting will be done on the main line first. You need to make a knot on top of everything. Stopper, then float. Here goes cushion rubber in between float and sinker. Sinker, V cushion rubber, and finally snap. Snap will be a connector between main line and sub line. This is the end of main line setting. Now, let's move on to sub line. While you use colored line for main line because it has to be visible so that you can be aware that your line may not be scratched by rocks or some sort of shells stuck on the rock. However, you use transparent line for sub line so that it can be invisible to fish. You just put a hook at the end of sub line and tiny lid sinker in the middle so that it can stabilize the subline in the water. That's it. If you have finished this process, this is how it looks like. You need to get used to this setting order to be able to make a setting by yourself. You may have wondered how each big and small part works in real situation. Let's see. Things start from the float landing on the water. And then, next process happens automatically. Once the float lands on the water, next job will be done by sinker. Sinker takes everything down toward the bottom. However, when sinker is busy working on the water, Another part is also busy working outside the water. It is stopper. As sinker goes down, mainline will go down as well and the knot will come closer to the float. But stopper stops knot, then sinking process stops all together. Sinker and hook will stay at the same water level. Now all you need to do is just wait for the signal of the float. How does float send signal that fish is on? A fish took the bait and runs away and pulling the line into the water. Once the flood feels the tension, this is what you can see outside the water. Now it is time for you to catch the fish. If you have more questions, please feel free to leave questions in the comment section of our YouTube channel or visit our website and leave comments.